It's Leslie, the Barbecue Princess from Uvons. I'm here with Mark Basin from Chimney Mill and Trey Woods. He's a amateur barbecuer until later backyard. today. Backyard. <laughs> backyard. backyard. We're trying to fix that. We're so fixing. yeah. We're getting getting Trey ready for his first barbecue contest in Yazoo City next weekend. <laughs> no, we've gone a lot of basics. We we made us a, a rub from scratch this morning. Uh, got some ribs in the cooker, got a little chicken on the cooker, and some pork sausage. So we've uh, we've had a little instruction, you know. Basically, barbecue 101, especially when it comes to ribs, we've gone over trimming the basics of rubs, and uh, we talked a little bit about the smoking process, and we're yeah, we we probably got another two hours before we've got ribs ready to eat. We've got baked beans and corn salad and almost got our potato salad ready. So by six o'clock, we're gonna be feeding some folks in Madison. Have you had barbecue overload today? I mean, there's been a lot thrown at you. I mean, we just basically came in and took over dude's house and hey, here we are. Never <laughs> saw us before. And it's like, hey, here Didn't we are. Didn't even get the call until the week before. <laughs> no, called him on Monday and said, I'm coming to your house to cook, buy, bring a bunch of buddies. You know, here we go. And we're here. You know, it's it's, uh, it's fantastic. I couldn't ask for more. I, I very much appreciate Leslie and Mark sharing their expertise in barbecue. I really enjoy cooking. Looking forward to uh, to perfecting some uh, some recipes and even even competing in the amateur level on the barbecue circuit uh, in, the, in the next coming weeks and months. So very much appreciate <laughs> all the help. We've covered a lot of. We focused on ribs because that's what he's going to cook in the competition. But we focused on. What to look for when you're picking your ribs? We've, uh, you know, we already talked about trimming them and prepping them and getting ready. And as any competition barbecue will tell you, ninety percent of work is done before you put them on the cooker. So we, I feel positive. I mean, if if he doesn't win next week, it's going to be basically he's a poor pupil. <laughs> All right, right. That's basically going to be it. Right. It's his own fault. It's not going to be any fault of ours because when we gave him winning tips and techniques <laughs> to make him a champion, uh, it's basically if he's not a champion, it's his fault. No pressure, but my no. name is tied to these two. So. That's I mean, right. Yeah. I mean, if he didn't win, I'm going to say, hey, the face of the franchise. I'm going to say it's his fault uh, that he didn't win because everything we told him was winning stuff. Mark and Leslie taught me everything I need to know. <laughs> it's just a, it's called applied knowledge. Pretty much, you know, he should win. There's no reason why he shouldn't be, you know, the fired feast, amateur master guru, champion guy. Next week, that's going to be him. That's the official title. That's the official title, right. basically. Uh, and he'll be on his way to a career in competitive barbecue, which is filled with peril and pitfalls and all sorts of whatnot. And you know what? But you get smoke in your veins and in your blood, and it just gets addictive. And I'm kind of sorry that we've introduced right. you to this. It's, I mean, there's a, there's a possibility this could, you know, ruin certain parts of his life. <laughs> right. Our sponsors, this has been a great event, sponsored Clay and Ledger has been a big part of this beginning, along with Kroger. Kroger is, uh, Everything we've cooked today came from Kroger, and we got some great looking ribs. I mean, those are competition quality ribs. We Absolutely. got great looking ribs and chicken. Everything came from Kroger. Uh, so yeah, we appreciate the Clarion Ledger for the opportunity and Kroger for being a big sponsor of this uh, event. You know what? It didn't hurt that we came in with pork sausage and royal oak charcoal. That can't ever hurt. Winning combination. That's right. Because we are, hey, we are picky people, so we pick polks. That's right. I'm picky. And we hate charcoal briquettes. We hate charcoal briquettes. So we went with royal oak for their lungs. Right. I'm lumpy. <laughs>